everyone, it's Lane. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a stellar day so far. Really, I do. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I so, so, so appreciate it. Today I thought I would share with you my duochrome custom palette and also two new lip products. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Let me bust out my handy dandy germ X before I do any swatchy swatchy for you guys. Because I'm kind of a freak like that. I hate germs. They're creepy and you can't even see them. It's just not right. I do want to point out that I have one lonesome non-makeup geek product in here. It is this very shimmery, beautiful color there by Urban Decay, and I cannot remember the name. I'm terrible. The magnet on the back is covering the name. It's the one that looks red but shifts blue. It's really, really neat. So I coordinated my palette from lightest, which is this yellow shade, to a pinky orange, then switched over to this pinky purple, the lonesome Urban Decay <laughs> eyeshadow. Then the brown, the green, and the light green. That's how I organized mine. They do look mighty beautiful together. I will say this one clashes just a little bit, but I didn't know where else to stick it. So it's resting in here until it's RIP all done for. One thing I love about Makeup Geek eyeshadows, they already are able to go right into a magnetic palette. This is Voltage. It is $6, as are all the duo chromes, and it its description is, it has a vanilla base with a champagne yellow reflect. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah. That is stunning. It does, when I have my hand tilted this way, it totally looks like plain boring vanilla. When I go like this, it shines a very, very vibrant golden yellow. Next we have I'm Peachless. It says it has a buff base with a pink, peachy pink, that's a tongue twister, reflect. I was having issues with this one working for me the other day. It just didn't want to stick. I think it was clashing with my eyeshadow primer. But that is so beautiful. Again, away from light, looks like just a plain old nude shade. When I go like this though, it shines a very, very vibrant pink. Not quite as vibrant as the Voltage though. Next up we have Mai Tai, which is a super pretty color. It has an apricot base with Orchid Reflex. I actually haven't even worn this one on my eyes yet. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. I honestly don't pick up a lot of the apricot, but it definitely has a purple pink kind of shift to it. Really stunning. I would say also not as pigmented as Voltage. I'm trying so hard not to stick a nail in these, you guys. Oh, this is Phantom. This is one of my very favorites. It is a white base with violet purple reflex. It's one of those that in the pan it doesn't look like much. You can kind of see that reflect happening, but apply. Oh my gosh. This one is so good. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ooh, ooh, that is beautiful. I do want to point out it's super similar to the Wet n Wild Lilac of Reality, and now they've just launched the new like Calypso or Calypto, which looks to me to be just like this one. Let me put this next to it. It's not exactly the same, but it's in that same family with the blue purpley color. So if you don't want to order from Makeup Geek, you do have that option. Next up we have Backlight, which is this really beautiful purpley blue. Again, I think that Wet n Wild one could be in a similar family, almost a dupe for this. Backlight has an electric purple base with icy blue reflex. Oh, that is so beautiful. Ooh, I love that. That's stunning. The yard is getting mowed right now, so if you can hear that in the background, I do apologize. Next up is this really neat shade, Steampunk. It has a deep blue base with rich copper reflex. I don't pick up the blue at all. I haven't worn this one yet. Oh wow, that's really a neat, that would make such a neat smoky eye. Oh my gosh. I can honestly say I don't get the blue so much until this little tiny bit that's drug out right here. I mean, that blue is so hard to detect, but it's like this rich chocolate brown with this warm 
reddy kind of purple shine. I love that. Next up is the Secret Garden. Secret Garden, just Secret Garden, not the like the book or movie. This one is a deep espresso base with bright teal reflex, and that is st st stunning. Oh, oh yeah, that is so pretty. I do get that uh, at the holidays, like Christmas time. I think that would be so neat. That color with the red little bit Christmas would be oh, so festive and fantastic. The last duochrome I have is Ritzy. It has a warm red-brown base with a green and gold reflect. The camera, it's coming across as almost like a greeny taupe color. To the eye, it's like a like a light olive shade. Oh, that is so neat. Definitely that warm base on there and the bright green. Very, very cool. Needless to say, I love all of my duochromes for sure. Next, I have these two lip products that I'm so excited for. Oh, I was waiting for so long to get these because I really wanted to try them. These are the Makeup Geek Lip Glosses. Foiled lip glosses, not just regular lip glosses. They have a ton of neat shades. The one that I thought was the most wearable, which is this shade in VIP. And then the one that I thought was a little more edgy and fun, which is this shade here in vinyl. These foiled lip glosses are, how much are they? The foiled lip glosses are $15, so they're not cheap, but they're not crazy expensive either. It says the foiled lip gloss is the perfect mashup of highly reflective metallic shine and the newest gloss technology, making it far more long lasting. I, up to six hours, that's really impressive for a gloss. I'm wondering if it's going to be real tacky. I don't do tacky lip gloss. They really smell like nothing. I don't mind that. I don't mind a scented lip gloss as long as it's a yummy scent. So no scent is better than a yucky scent. Really long tubes and wand. I thought that was interesting. Oh, that's, that was beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that feels so comfortable. To me, it reminds me of like an antique pink, which I love. This would be so beautiful with a pink smoky eye. I can't even tell you guys how beautiful it would be. This color is amazing. It's so pig pigmented. I think it would look beautiful over top of another lip product. Oh, I'm in love. It's not sticky. It's really not sticky. Now, it's not that slick gloss feeling, but it's not sticky. It's got kind of a eh, taste, but I can tell though by the texture, it's long lasting. It almost feels like a mousse going on. Beautiful, in love. In love. Next, we have vinyl. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need to go to a rock concert wearing this. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. I don't know how I feel about this one, you guys. <laughs> oh. My lip color is definitely showing through. I mean, it's super fun and super edgy, but I'm like, what am I going to wear this to? It's a little more intense than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my god. No, guys. I mean, it, it feels nice. It applies fairly nicely. This one seemed a little harder to apply, but I think it's because it's such a bold color. It's not like when you kind of mess up, it blends in with your natural lip because this is not a natural color. What was I thinking when I ordered this one? I guess I was feeling a little bold. Ooh. I'm going to try tapping some of VIP over top. That I like more. Tapping VIP over top. I kind of like that now. I feel like it made just a difference to where now I'm like, okay. It looks a little bit more wearable on my skin tone with a little bit more of that pink shine coming off of it. The two of those together are pretty cool. Hmm, I feel sassy. I must say I love the formula of the lip glosses. Uh, the color was a little bolder than expected, but I do love the formula and love, love, love the duochromes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love, love, love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Really, I would. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All three places. I love getting to chat with you guys. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.